So you want to start a blog or you're questioning if your current blog is on the right platform, but you're snowed under with options. Well, don't worry today. I am here to help you out by giving you a rundown of seven of the very best blogging platforms out there. Before we jump into the list, we need to kind of set some parameters. What is it that we're actually looking for in a quality blogging platform? We want something that's quick and easy to set up and definitely does not require any coding, so it's nice and quick to learn. To get the right platform for you, I need you to do a little bit of future planning. Where do you want your blog to go? What do you want it to be? If you do that, if you can think like that, you can start to plan out maybe what features you're going to want your blog to have in the future. And then is it gonna be sustainable for you in the long term? Again, thinking of the future, can you switch down the road if you decide maybe you don't like this particular platform and how easy is it to do that and finally can you make money from your blog either now or in the future through things like affiliate marketing adverts you'd be surprised to hear that a lot of sites don't let you do that or if they do it comes at a cost so we want to make sure we're proofed and we're ready to make some money off our blog if the opportunity presents itself of course, our first pick has to be wordpress.org. Not to be confused with wordpress.com, we will get onto that a little bit later, but wordpress.org powers almost half the websites on the internet. It's incredibly popular and has to be pick number one. Every platform is gonna have pros and cons. What are the pros for wordpress.org? It's free to use, you have complete control of your page with no coding required and thousands of customizable themes. There's also thousands of free plugins to help you add all the features that you want, like forms you can grab from WP Forms or galleries. The options really are endless. And it's definitely the easiest free blogging platform to make money with great options for online stores, affiliate marketing and adverts. That all sounds great, but what are the downsides? Well, you are managing everything. So you don't need to know code, but you definitely need to be familiar or get familiar with the WordPress admin backend. It's not that complicated, but it is something that you need to do. That means you're also gonna have to take responsibility for things like your own backups of your page and the security of your page. WordPress.org is also self-hosted. And what that means is that you'll have to set up your own web hosting provider. Now, this is pretty easy to do and can cost you as little as $30 a year. There's also options that will take care of the backups and security that I mentioned in the previous con, but it's a cost you need to consider and just an extra step that you need to fulfill. Along with your hosting provider, you also need to get a domain name. Now this is your .com, .co.uk, .org, whatever it is you want to be. Now these are pretty easy to get. They're also pretty affordable. They can be 10 to $15 for the entire year, but it is another thing that you need to consider. Some hosting providers, remember, you're gonna need one of those, check out the previous point, will actually give you a domain name for free. So if you pick the right provider, you can actually start to bundle your backups, your security, your hosting, and your domain name all together, making your life even easier. If you are looking to keep those costs as low as possible, we recommend Bluehost. They offer a free domain name and SSL certificate, automatic WordPress updates, and even more. And it's all less than $35 for the year. And it can be even less than that if you go and click the link in the description and grab our WP Beginner coupon code. Next up is Wix. You've probably heard of them. They're a very simple drag and drop based platform that have a blogging app that you can add to your page. Again, let's talk positives and negatives. For the upsides, you can customize your site using templates and add-ons. Again, no coding required. It's very simple drag and drop format, and it's pretty quick and easy to start. And there's no hosting or domain costs. The downsides are while it's free to set up and get started, that free account does come with Wix ads and Wix logos on your page. There's also limited apps. The templates that you apply can't be changed at a later date. That might be a deal breaker if you're looking to kind of change and evolve your site as time goes on. And if you are looking to have e-commerce on your blogging page, 
Well, their e-commerce options for Wix are only available to those higher paid priced tiers, which we'll talk about now. As we said, it's free to get going with Wix, but if you want more features and you want to add that e-commerce feature, then you are looking at paying anywhere from $16 to $159 a month. So definitely check it out and make sure that your site's gonna be future-proofed and you're gonna get all the features that you need. Next up, we're gonna talk about a blogging service provided by Google. Bet you didn't know they did that. It's called Blogger, and if you're not particularly tech savvy, this could be a great choice for you. Let's talk upsides. Now, it is run by Google, as I said, so you can be assured that it's very nice and secure. Because it's run by Google, you can get started with just a Google account, which, let's be honest, we've pretty much all got at this point. It's completely free to use. The only cost is if you want to add a custom domain name, but that's entirely up to you. And the actual usage of the site is incredibly simple. Simplicity does lead to very limited blogging tools and features with limited design options and templates. So you're not really gonna be able to customize that site exactly how you want it. Google also don't really see Blogger as a priority project. So it very rarely gets updated and it very rarely has new features added. So what you see is pretty much what you're gonna get long-term. The way Blogger works as well, basically means that Google kind of owns your blog. So if you post something, you write something that Google don't like, Google don't agree with, they can actually cancel your blog. They can just take it down, suspend your account. That is within their power while you're using Blogger. It's also worth being aware that Google do have a little bit of a track record of abandoning projects. So if they were to decide to do that with Blogger, you could end up losing everything. Now for something a little bit different. If you're primarily looking to use images, video, audio, and you like the idea, kind of some social media type features built into your blog, then Tumblr might be worth looking at. On to the upsides, Tumblr is again free. Nothing to pay for unless you want to get your own custom domain name. A Tumblr account and blog is very easy to set up and possibly even easier to use. And as I mentioned, it's very easy to blog images, video and audio. So if that's your jam, definitely check this out. Downsides, again, simplicity does lead to a lack of features. And it also means that you can definitely outgrow Tumblr if your blog starts to become even reasonably popular. So then you might wanna move your Tumblr blog onto another site, say wordpress.org, where you have more options. However, moving from Tumblr onto another blogging platform is actually quite difficult. All right, WordPress.com, let's clear up the confusion because it is not to be confused with WordPress.org. They are very different. Unlike WordPress.org, WordPress.com does the hosting for you and it will even provide you with a domain name, but that definitely comes with some sacrifices. Before we get to those sacrifices, the positives. There is no fee to set this up. It's completely free unless you want to add your own custom domain name. It is very easy to use and manage WordPress.com and there's basically no setup required. Simplicity is king here. However, again, simplicity brings limitations. WordPress.com has much more limited options than WordPress.org. There's no custom themes or plugins. You can't run ads on your blog, but WordPress.com will and they take the ad revenue from that. And similarly to what we spoke about with Blogger, you don't actually own your own blog. WordPress.com can suspend or cancel your account. WordPress.com is free. However, if you want to remove those ads that are gonna be running on the free version of the site, you can pay $4 a month. And if you want some extra design tools, there is an option there as well, and that's $18 a month. So again, be aware of what you want and how much that's gonna cost you. Next up, another fully drag and drop site that can make some really beautiful websites, Squarespace. It is very easy to use that drag and drop system with Squarespace. The templates are really good looking and there are upgradable options so that you can get e-commerce and other features 
on your site. One of the bigger downsides to Squarespace is that it's a proprietary platform, so there's very few features being developed and added onto the site, which if you compare that to say wordpress.org, which is open source and allows people to develop things, to develop apps, to put on the site so the options are in the thousands does mean that once again, you are a bit limited. Now there is no free option with Squarespace, no matter what you go for, you are gonna have to pay a fee. It's anywhere between 23 and $49 a month. You can make those a bit cheaper if you pay annually, but again, need to decide if that's something that you want to do. And finally, we are talking about blogging here. So if you really just want to focus on your writing, Ghost is a really great minimalist platform where that is the focus. Ghost does have a hosted and non-hosted option. We're gonna focus on the pros and cons of the hosted here. There is basically no setup required for Ghost. You can just get straight at it. And the whole page, the whole site is in JavaScript. So that means it's going to be lightning fast. And because it is very writing and blogging focused, the interface is super clean and super clear. By now, you should not be surprised to hear that this simple interface does mean limited options. So you get limited customization, limited themes to decide how your blog is going to look. But that's the trade-off you get with the simple interface. If you are interested in the self-hosting, the setup for that can be very complicated. The hosted version is not free. It starts at $25 a month, and that gives you two users and a limited number of page views, although it is quite a large number. And if you wanna go for the self-hosted, you'll need to provide a domain name and a web hosting service as we explained with WordPress.org. So which one's the best? Well, obviously it's gonna come down to your own personal needs and preferences. However, we cannot look past WordPress.org. It's quite simply the most powerful, the most customizable, the most flexible. It's just all round a winner. And if you pair it up with Bluehost, who we mentioned earlier, for your hosting and their free domain name, and then use the WP Beginner coupon code, you've got yourself a very affordable solution. There's also so many different tools that you can use that are going to help your blog take off and be more successful. All-in-one SEO, for example, and if you are looking to boost your SEO or find out what SEO is, then definitely check out one of our other videos, which is about here. But that's all from me today. I hope you found that helpful. I've been James, and I'll see you soon.